Hey guys, got another really nice video for you guys. Hey, it's class night level two here, gang, and we're with a layout, a quick update, another quick update. This actually is a quick update. Hopefully, you'll notice that I've got two Stobart Rail containers in lower, less CO2 emissions Tesco Stobart Rail livery. That's because these were bought recently from Hereford and they're weathered. These were under 30 quid. An absolute bargain and they're in absolutely mint condition, as you can see. And they work absolutely beautifully with my thing. Just, we had a slight derailment earlier, but... I think that issue is now being resolved, more or less. Yeah, it's not derailing. So yeah, this would be a fifty. This is a six, fifty-six filling for the sixty-six. Anyway, I shall show you the top of the containers. There's an aerial view of the Stobart seventy-six container, and next to that, Stobart twenty-eight. And they have very. They have ser their own independent serial number. And you can see the wagon loads they're on is weathered. You can see, by if you look at this panel here, you can see just, hang on, if I just open the curtain slightly, you might be able to see them out a bit better. There you go. That's a bit better. We got a bit more light. So you can see, you can now that we have light, you can see the blue, light blue, against the greyish black colour. And that's the weathered sections of the greyish black. And the rest is blue, light blue colour. Anyway, let's run it again. And it absolute, runs absolutely beautiful on a country track. Except now, it decides to derail. Yep, it's because the point. That's that's why it derailed. Oh well, now we know why it keeps derailing. It's this section here. Now let me uncouple the locomotive first and turn this to the neutral position. And show you what happened. This is what happened actually caused it. And this is the actual cause of the derailment. Now, oh, we've had a double derailment. Due to the incident, it's because there's a, another. It's another fa design failure by Pico. Their rail joiners don't work so well on Hornby rail joiners. So what I might do, what I may do, is take these wagons off and take this. Oh, it's very loose. A very loose Pico one. And uh, where did I see that spare rail joiner? Oh, fit it with a retrofit it with this homey. This one is not in very good condition. Anymore. Let's see if we can find this in a bit better condition. There should be. Ah, that's just what we were looking for. A brand new home, an unused home cap rail joiner. And there's a bit of grime on there. Bit of grime in her anyway. So let's see how well that performs a joint. Absolutely perfect. Tips and tricks, people. Never use Pico system. Only buy Hornby system unless you actually have Hornby rail joiners. This to hand. In which case, you can buy Pico and replace the joiners if you're having trouble with your rail joiners. If you're having trouble with the Pico joiners, just switch, to, switch them for Hornby. And also make sure that you re rail all your wagons properly. And make sure you re rail any sections that come loose as a result of one section coming loose and derailing the train. Otherwise, what happened here will just happen again. Anyway, 
I shall replace replace the container back on. I put the local on and bring the train around for one final look. This is gonna be. A No, this is only a shot for 50 seconds, 40 odd seconds. But yeah, this has got self-centering couplings too, which the Hornby Loco does not. So yeah, the coupling... will have to be done. No. Oh well. Like I said, if at first you don't succeed, anyway, let's, let's, oh yeah, let's run it at a reduced speed, because of that incident. Anyway, that has been a quick layout update. Peace out, YouTube. If you like this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.